How's it going? It's APOC. Today I'm going to show you how to add time and date to your Lens Studio project very simply using my date object. The link to download this will be in the description below or wherever you're watching this video I'm sure the link is somewhere around there. Basically you just click download on this link you'll get this date object by APOC to LSO. You just want to drag this into Lens Studio. Drop it in there, let Snapchat load it. Boom, there it is. It's not added as an orthographic camera. You can do that on your own. Um, just a warning there because it's going to look different on the front and back camera using perspective. Um, if you want to customize the clock and date showing up, you can just disable them separately by checking the boxes here. Customize all the sprites inside as you wish. All of the images can be edited. They're all here. There's only a few because I'm reusing the same images for the numbers. And one thing I want to go over in the video is the configuration. Now you can edit this globally if you're scripting something. You can edit global.8 object and pass in your new values as an object uh, as long as you're calling this value after this runs because it has to initialize that variable. Um, but if you want, don't want to do that, you can just go in the script and do it. Uh, type has two uh, parameters, I guess you could say, two arguments, that's the word I'm looking for. So we have type 12 and type 24, 24, which is 24 hour time, which gets rid of the AM PM thing and turns it to 24 hour time, which I can't really show you right now because it's 1.35 AM, which in 12 and 24 hour looks exactly the same. I'm going to switch it back to 12. And there's two other options here. There's left zero time, left zero month. I'll show you what these do. Together, they basically just get rid of any zeros on the left of the numbers on the month and the time. If the month is less than 10 though, and same with the time because obviously then it's not a zero there. So turn those back to true. And if you want to just move this easily, you just click on this object and then move that together. So yeah, there you go. There's my data object. Link is in the description, like I said. If you have any other tutorials or any questions about Lens Studio, drop them in the comments below. I'm here to help. You can also message me if you know me from somewhere else. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.